Have you ever had a job that you absolutely loved? You've been there for a while, you love the bosses, you love your managers, you love the owners, it has great benefits, great pay, you love your co-workers, you just love the environment, you love everything about this job, even Korea, and you don't want to go anywhere. But then, as time passes along, your attendance starts slipping a little bit, and your attendance has always been a little bit shaky, even from when you first got on the job but they still rock with you because they saw your potential and they saw the skill that you had and they saw that you were a very, very good employee when you were there. But then some more time passed and your attendance was still shaky. So then what they did, they said, hey, your attendance is shaky and it's been shaky. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring in some guys that just in case you're not here, we're gonna have them ready to step in. And we're even gonna draft somebody who he could really be your replacement. That's pretty much what he is. And you may have looked at that and be like, oh, man, that's tough. They brought in somebody to replace me. But even years after they brought in that person to replace you, you are still with the company. That's how much they value you and you value them. But then it comes to a time when you're thinking about your life after the company. And it's like, man, even if I'm offered something from another company, I don't think I want to go anywhere else. Nowhere. I might as well just retire. And that's what it seems like is the case with Ravens cornerback Jimmy Smith. Because Jeff Zrebick, he posted an article today, and the biggest headline from that article, the biggest quote, was Jimmy Smith saying, I will absolutely not play for anybody else. If... I don't play for the Ravens. And let's read it verbatim. He said, I absolutely will not play for another team. If the Ravens didn't re-sign me last year and I felt like I could still play, I probably would have still retired. So the, the, the wording with that is very, very interesting. And it lets you know, like, retirement is on Jimmy Smith's mind. It's right around the corner. And, of course, we won't know how much weight this quote holds until we actually get to that scenario. Because we've seen it said before where players would be like, specifically with the Ravens, a certain player, wide receiver, was a very, very good wide receiver for the Ravens, won a Super Bowl and all, but right after the Super Bowl, there was some talk, hey, we want you, we, we, we want to fix this contract. We want to make some adjustments to this contract. And if we don't, then you're gone. That player was, of course, Anquan Bolden. Anquan Bolden said, man, if, if the Ravens get rid of me, they will, if, I don't, if I'm not playing for the Ravens, I'm not playing football. I'm retiring. I'm done. Finished. It's over for me. What happened? He got traded to the 49ers. And he played. He continued to play. But when people say stuff like that, if, if I'm not playing for the Ravens, I don't want to play at all, you can tell they really love the Ravens, they really love their team. They really love their career. And that's Jimmy Smith in a nutshell. I remember two years ago, I, I thought he was gone. When they let him test free agency, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah okay. Well, I guess we, we about to lose Jimmy Smith. He's gone. He ain't coming back. Uh, and they let him test. I thought he was going to go to the Jets. I thought he was headed to New York. Go be with C.J. Mosley, them, Peanut, and but... It didn't end up working out that way. Jimmy Smith tested the waters and he sunk contract wise. And the Ravens said, it's OK, son. Come on. home, Come on. home, It's OK. And they gave him that 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 father's love hug. When a father lets you know, like, OK, you want to test me? Go ahead. Do your thing. But you're going to learn the hard way. And that's what happened with Jimmy Smith in free agency. He learned the hard way. There was no better environment. There was no better situation for him than returning to the Baltimore Ravens. So he came back. And then even this year, well, before free agency started, they signed him to an extension. They said, Jimmy, hey, we're keeping you around again. You're going to stay here again. We're rocking with you again. And, I mean, with, with Jimmy Smith, the Ravens are a better team. But Ravens are also prepared for life after Jimmy Smith. And they started doing that because they had to go through things the hard way. Jimmy Smith was their top corner. It, it would never fail that Jimmy Smith, they, they, he was the best corner on the team. They Ravens would be moving, shaking, doing their thing in the regular season. Playoff comes, 
Jimmy Smith gone. Jimmy Smith goes down. That was it. The entire secondary would collapse. That, that was this guy's impact on the team. Entire secondary would collapse. And they'd be like, man, if only. And we were just talking about it uh, in the stream a couple days ago. And again, shout out to Sarah Ellison who came out with the list of a lot of the Ravens players who are on their last years of their deal. They only have one year left on their contracts. And Jimmy Smith was one of them. And we went through each player and we, we wondered, oh, okay, who's going to stay and who's going to go? And with Jimmy Smith, I think he's going to go. I think this is really uh, his last season with the Ravens. And Calais Campbell, he was the only guy uh, where I felt like, okay, the Ravens, I, I don't even think it's going to be a thing where the Ravens bring him back. But at the same time, I don't think it's going to be one of those things where they necessarily let him go. But I think he's going to retire. I think he's going to retire. Call it quits. But that cr thought didn't really cross my mind when it came to Jimmy Smith. I just thought, OK, he may go elsewhere. But again, when, when you look at the, the wording, if the Ravens didn't re-sign me last year and I felt like I could still play, I probably would have still retired. So when he used the word still, it lets me know that he's thinking about the future. He's thinking about life after football. It, I probably would have still retired. And he said, I don't see myself pushing to play at 35 or 36. So Jimmy Smith, he knows that his, his football clock is ticking. And I, I've watched the, uh, the I Am Athlete podcast. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, when they started doing all the NASCAR stuff, that wasn't my cup of tea. But then they started bringing it back. They brought primetime on there. They put Dion on there. And then I'm like, okay, we back. But anyway, love I Am Athlete podcast. But something that they talked about on there. And these are uh, for it's, it's Fred Taylor. It's uh, Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco. Um, Channing Crowder, who is, who is my favorite person on there. Because the thing about him, I love how he always keeps it real no matter who the guest is on the show. If he says something about the guest that's coming on a show, if he said it on a previous show or previous episode, then he will say it when they're there. He ain't one of those people that are like, oh, okay, the guest is here, so I got to be all nice. And I, Well, not nice, not that he's disrespectful, but he speaks his mind no matter what. But anyway, besides the point. And Brandon Marshall, of course. And again, I told y'all, we, we got to tour, the uh, me, my wife, and Carter, we got to tour the, uh, the House of Athlete over in Western. That thing is beautiful. Beautiful. Their membership prices are through the roof now. And the price for their clothes and stuff. We only walked out of there with some uh, some protein powder and something else too. But it is nice. Beautiful there. Like if you ever come down to South Florida, go. If you, Go if you get a chance. Go. Go get a tour. It's beautiful. Anyway, on that show, something that they talk about is with players, they say, if you start thinking about retirement, then you already there. You're already there. And it's been said so many times that football is like 90% mental and only 10% physical. So in the 90% that that's mental, if your thoughts are thinking post football, you're already there. You are already there. You already starting to check out. So with Jimmy Smith, with him mentioning that, he's already there. Now, of course, he's, he's going to play this season. And I don't think it's going to be a thing where, oh, man, Jimmy Smith, he's going to go halfway. He's going to go half hard. No, I don't think it's going to be anything like that. But you certainly know his time, not only with the Ravens, but possibly even the NFL, could be coming to uh, an end. And if it is, then even whatever happens this season, Jimmy Smith has had a pretty good career, pretty good career. And I think he really made his mark uh, back in 2013. That was his coming out party. And also uh, 2015 as well. Um, because those were the two seasons where Jimmy Smith played the entire season, entire season, full 16 games. Ravens didn't make the playoffs either one. But Jimmy Smith stays strong. Stay standing. And what's even crazy is that in the season 2015, where literally everybody at every single position got hurt, every starter everywhere got hurt. Jimmy Smith 
he was the only one standing. So shout out to him. But 2013 for sure was his coming out party. That's where he just really like evolved. It's like, okay, this, this guy can play. He can really play. This guy is a lockdown corner. And it, it sucks to know that Jimmy Smith, when healthy, he would have definitely been, no question, top five. Maybe even top three. No question, like no doubts about it at all. But that would be if he was healthy. That's the only knock on Jimmy Smith, man. It, it has been the health. That's why they brought in a Brandon Carr when they did. That's why they drafted Marlon Humphrey. That's why they still went and got a Marcus Peters. That's why they load up on corners. Because Ravens know firsthand, like, you're only as good as the next man up. And with Jimmy Smith throughout his career, it's been a lot of next men up after him because he's went down a lot. So uh, hopefully for this season, he could be 1,000%. And he could get through this season healthy. I'm sure they'll move him around a little bit, have him playing some outside, have him covering some tight ends, maybe drop him back at safety sometimes. Because you, you could do some things with Jimmy Smith now. You sure can, man. But... um. We'll, we'll see how this thing goes. And then as far as him saying that I will absolutely not play for another team, I think that's to be determined, man. I really do. I think that's to be determined because sometimes things happen. It's a business. It's a business. And, yeah, in business, feelings do still get involved. It can be tough to separate, especially when the business is so good that you're a part of. When the environment of that business is so good that you're a part of. When the, the business, when your uh, co-workers and whatnot, they become family. It happens. We all have experience with that. But at the same time, NFL is still a business. And relationships, they can be ended. Contracts, they can be ended. And Jimmy Smith, it could be one of those things where he's, he is feeling this way. Because these are his feelings at the moment. But when that contract ends, he could be like, you know what? I feel good. Like, say, for instance, he, he does play this entire season. And he does a good job. Because if he does play this entire season, we know he's going to do a great job. Because that's what he does. But if he plays this entire season, he could be like, you know what? I just made it through this whole season. I got another year in me. Let's get it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling healthy. I'm ready. Let's go. So, but if the Ravens say, oh, thanks, Jimmy, we love you, appreciate you, but this relationship is, it is what it is, it's over, Jimmy could be like, okay, well, thank you for everything, but I'm, I still want to play. Because we've seen it happen so many times with so many different players, where they say, oh, I'm thinking about, oh, no, I want to play for this organization forever, I want to play for this team forever, but then the team, they don't feel the same way, and then the player's like, oh, no, I, I still got it, I still got some juice. Let's go. So with Jimmy Smith, we'll see. And I know <laughs> that'll hurt a lot of Ravens fans. That'll hurt a lot of Ravens fans seeing Jimmy Smith in another jersey. We know the feeling. Happened with Terrell Suggs. Oof. It was ugly. I know some people, some, now with Judon, it's a little bit different. It's, it's, it's like half and half. Because some people are like, oh, Judon in a Patriots jersey. And some people are like, hey, Judon in a Patriots jersey. Certainly happened with Ed Reed. Mm. Ed Reed, when we watched him play for the Texans for that little bit before they cut him, and then Rex Ryan said, Ed Reed, come here, man. You know I got you, man. I was waiting for you to get cut. I got you, and he scooped him up. And then with uh, – and this happened with other players too. And then, But I remember back in – I forgot what year it was, but when Ray Lewis' contract expired. And this – and free agency was getting close to, to free agency – and they were like, oh, Ray Lewis said, oh, it was always my dream to play for the Cowboys or something like that. Then there was rumors about the, them playing for the Broncos. And it was scary times, man. Y'all remember? Y'all remember? Oh, I'll never forget that because I, I was scared. I'm like, no, that, like, no, this, that can't happen, man. He can't go to either one of those teams. Please, no. But Ravens, they fixed that situation. And, you know, I'm sure Ray Lewis was just saying that stuff to speed up them contract talks, to put that pressure on them. Publicly, because when you put that public pressure on a team, that's when things really get moving. But sometimes the teams put that public pressure on you. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Jimmy Smith, we appreciate you. 
Jimmy Smith been that dude, man. So hopefully we we hope that he has a nice, healthy, great season. And hopefully he can be a two-time Super Bowl champion. So like Jimmy Smith said he's going to be, if he's no longer playing with the Ravens, with the NFL, I'm out.